Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I am the Todd I am, and in today's episode, we are still in Cathedral Court Zoo, and today we are building, well, it's a building. Um, it's basically just going to be an entrance building with a few little concessions, drinks, food, a few bathrooms, that is going to lead to a habitat back behind it. Uh, in today's episode, we're not going to get to the habitat quite yet. We're just going to be focusing on this main building. I found a, uh, a photo for inspiration for, I think it's actually a hotel that has this little mm, gardeny walkway path courtyard thing behind it. And so, in looking at it, I decided that I was going to make this just an entryway for a building. Um, so, not going to be too extravagant, nothing fancy on the inside by any means. I actually spend more time on the outside of it, trying to focus on um, adding more to a classic look to continue with the theme and the aesthetics of the rest of the buildings within the zoo and using these archways trying to get a somewhat of a multi-dimensional front way where it's not plain not just smooth flat blocked off things of that sort i wanted to try to do something a little bit different with still trying to stick with the same architectural style as the rest of the buildings within the zoo <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, when when building this, I I really wanted to focus and spend a lot of time just on the building itself instead of putting a building up and just fo and focusing on the animal habitat behind it. I tend to spend more time on an enclosure with the aesthetics of it the trees plants bushes waters terrain great uh, terrain painting all those sorts of things i really try to spend more time on that and not so much on the exterior buildings and i got to thinking that when you're actually in a zoo and you go towards these habitats the enclosures the exhibits and they're either within a building or you have to gain access to those enclosures through a building the first thing you see is the building and so if it's not going to draw you in if it's not interesting then there's something missing and so i've with this particular video i really wanted to focus only on that building so the the path here on the inside of it, you, you can clearly see it's not complete. It wasn't going to allow me to fill in the entire floor space with the path, which is really fine because it really wasn't a path style I liked that was going to work for the inside of this building and how I wanted it to look. So I wasn't really that concerned with the, the bottom coverage because I was just going to wind up putting a floor in, uh, on it anyway so as long as my guests could get to where they needed to go without any sort of interruption then i didn't really care what the path looked like i didn't care where it went as long as it was functional um and so using these plaster pieces i don't know about the rest of you but i love <coughs> excuse me these plaster pieces they're so versatile they don't have a certain pattern a certain texture to them you can change the color of it to help meet whatever need you needed so there's you're not stuck with brick or rock or wood you can just pretty much use them however make them look however and it works so universally i love the plaster i know other content creators that i've watched on youtube they love the <laughs> they love the plaster as well it just it, it, it's just one of the one of the best building pieces you can use within this game um, excuse me now just adding a few touches on the inside benches trash cans I don't know about the rest of you but until this last update we can actually turn off the littering 
my guests are just filthy people. They will be five, ten feet from a trash can and just throw their stuff on the ground. Too lazy to walk over to it. So I don't want to have trash cans everywhere because it kind of clutters things up. It takes away from the overall appeal of the zoo. So I'm really glad that Frontier added the turn off littering option in this past update. <clears throat> I still put the trash cans in there because, again, you would still see these these cans, these waste place, places for people to throw their trash, their excess garbage. So it needs to be there. Otherwise, it just seems like it's missing something. Um, going in with this particular part of the build, with these archways, I, I found that the brick archways were just too repetitive too much of the same thing so i i like these limestone archways they give these big giant spaces to make these open walkways albeit this one goes nowhere it's implying that there's this space to walk into it's very inviting not closed off you can fit a lot of people into it um and it just it just also works with the limestone brick theming aesthetics that I use with the rest of these buildings. Um, now I will make a little side note here. Some of the comments I've had with my videos as I say the word um a lot apparently uh, was not aware of that so I do apparently use it as a filler word so I'm gonna do my best not to use um so much. So if you happen to notice that I pause. I'm just kind of getting my thoughts in order and not trying to use the word um. I don't know. I think everybody pretty much does that not thinking about it. It's just kind of one of those things that just happens and it's it's gonna be something I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna try not to say um near as much. So constructive criticism at its best. I will take every option I am given and will do my best to correct things such as saying um all the time when I'm trying to take a moment to figure out what I'm going to try to say next. So anyhow, I wanted to do not so much of a garden with this little open, call it a courtyard area. Uh, oh, look at that. I did it anyway. I said, uh, but there will be trees there will be plants there will be flowers mulch going around these open grassy areas in between these pathways there will, i will put a fountain in the middle of it nothing fancy but just something because i do like the water features this zoo is going to be full of different water areas whether it's going to be a fountain a lake uh, perhaps even a waterfall. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do a waterfall in some of my jungle habitats. Uh, it's, I think it's too, it's expected to have a waterfall, but in all honesty, when it comes to a lot of your jungle animals in nature, they don't always live by a waterfall. Some will, but as a whole, if you're thinking about, say, <clears throat> excuse me, South America or Central Africa around the Congo area, very dense jungle or forested areas, yes, there are water sources, yes, there are streams and rivers and lakes and ponds of, and things like that, but there's not always a waterfall around. So taking that thought, because I'm one of those that every jungle habitat I've built, boom, slapped in a waterfall. No questions asked. They look great. I love the overall feel of them. But I don't know that I want to do that within this zoo. I don't know if it's really going to fit the classic nature of the zoo. I don't know if that's really the right way to put that. Uh, but I don't know that a waterfall is is going to be too much i suppose is the way i want to say that so anyway not certain if i'm going to do a waterfall or not but what um, i do know is there will be an exhibit behind this you can see that little gap right there in that back wall so this is going to be just a building that my guests you guests will walk into 
grab a bite to eat, grab a drink, have a sit down, bathroom break, and then move through the backside to an enclosure. However, I do not yet know what animal I want to put back there. So here's what I'm going to do. Leave a comment if you're watching this video with an idea of an animal I can put down there. Now, with that being said, I do have an idea of three different ones I want to put here. I cannot decide which one I want. So that's where you come in. So it's either going to be the timber wolf, the giant panda, or the jaguar. Put your ideas, put your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think I should put behind this building. And uh, what I wind up doing is whichever animal gets the most votes, I suppose if you were, the most mentions, most comments, that will be the one that I will go with. If I get the same amount for particular animals, then I'll just flip a coin. If I don't get any comments whatsoever, well, I'm just going to throw one of them in there, arbitrarily pick one, and that's what will be in a future video. Now, I already have a video ready for uh, posting after this video comes out. It will not be the habitat behind this one. It is a different one I worked on, so it won't be the following video after this one comes out, but it will be one probably uh, after that one. Now, this video will be posted as normal. I will probably get a video out next week. I don't think I'll have one the following week. If I do, then it'll be the week after that that I don't post one. I've not been able to keep up with my weekly schedule for posting this summer, and most summers are probably going to throw my routine off a little bit until I get a groove of everything. Um, I do see my family quite often. I've got other responsibilities that, have, that come up more so in the summer, or have come up rather this summer, that has not allowed me to keep with an every week post so with that being said probably once summer's over with maybe mid-august then i will get myself back on a routine and i will put videos out that will be posted every thursday morning central time u.s time um <coughs> it will usually have it go out about midnight uh, my time so that uh, I know places in Europe that obviously get up way before I do. They will have the option to perhaps take a look at it before they start their days. So here it's kind of jumped ahead to these flower beds. I did not feel the need to show the entire length of these hedges being put around because frankly it's just a boring thing to watch. So that and the mulch in itself. Everybody knows how to put hedges in. Everybody knows how to put mulch in. If you don't, there are plenty of tutorials out there when it comes to doing foliage. I love foliage. I love the trees. I love the plants. I love the flowers, the rocks, everything that has to do with it. I just, one of my favorite things to do. But if you don't quite like how you're doing yours or you want a little bit more insight or a few tips, there are plenty of videos with other content creators that have made some really fantastic ways to simplify and do your trees and bushes and whatnot if you can't find any or you don't have any that you like let me know i will be more than happy to help you out i can post an, a simple video on how to do your rotations because when i do my foliage because i love it so much i never put the th anything in the same way twice i rotate trees i rotate plants and bushes i change the elevation because if you really think about it out in nature if you have wild plants that are growing, trees, flowers, bushes, hedges, whatever you want to call them, none of them look the exact same. So some are taller, some are down further to the ground, some are bigger, some are turned one way or the other. They've got shoots going off this direction or going off that direction. So moving your bushes, your trees, your plants, flowers, whatever you're looking for and whatever you're working with, changing the directions of them makes everything look so much more natural. Even in a setting like this, when they were, comp they were clearly put there by somebody, they're still not going to look completely identical from one to the next. So you really want to start changing how you put things in. Now, this fountain that has been put in here, again, I love the fountains. I love the water features. Wanted to go fairly simple. Nothing extravagant, nothing over the top. My big fountains are clearly in the 
uh, plaza to the cathedral and in uh, just beyond the entrance to the zoo. Big fountains. I love them so much. But I will put water features and some small fountains periodically here and there as it, uh, as, it, as it goes on. And I just noticed I did not rotate all my flowers there. So, you know, give the tips. Don't do the tips. Kind of all messes up there. But you will see some rotation and eventually some lowering of the elevation just to make things change and look a little bit more natural. So there's not a whole lot left to say with this build. Um, these flower beds are going to get finished up. I do add a short little limestone fence around the front little grassy areas just to kind of show that there may be a small yard little grassy area that's not being used. Sort of like, you know, keep off the grass situation. Um, but anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you like uh, what you have watched. If you have, consider hitting that thumbs up, give me a like, give me a comment. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Let me know about it. Let me know what you don't like. Give me some criticisms. I welcome and accept everything. Um, if it's something that I think that I need to work on, such as saying, um, like I just did, then I will definitely consider it and I'll do my best to change things or make things better and do any improvements that I can. I do this for the viewing public. I'm going to play this game either way. I love playing this game. I love what it can do. I love the creativity and that your imagination is your only limitation. And so if you have any ideas, I am well, <coughs> excuse me, open to anything that you want to tell me. Um, if you want to know when other videos are posted, so, you know, hit that subscribe button. It will give you a notification when I do post. Again, Thursday mornings, U.S. Central Time is when the plan is from all posts. Again, not every week we'll have one, but that will get better here in about a month or so. So anyway, I do want to thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this build. I hope you enjoy it. Um, please come back, watch previous videos, kind of see how this entire zoo has started. Um, I've got plenty more to go. It's not even close to being done. Stick around for some more. Um, but I tell you what, as always, I, I thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys next time. Bye.